But I started paying attention to the democratic policies because just like everyone else on the panel says, you know, you were just raised like that. You know, you just did whatever everybody else did. And then I started thinking about the welfare system because when I got out of prison, I was a convicted felon. I couldn't get welfare. I couldn't get Section 8 because they were government funded programs. So what did I have to do? I was a mother with four children. I had to bust my butt. Today, not only am I a national best-selling author, but I also have my own publishing company. I've published over 100 authors. But here's the thing. I would have never discovered my greatness had I not been denied that government assistance because I would have been sitting somewhere collecting a check, being content, never pushing myself forward. So I said, wait a minute, these democratic policies, they really have our people stuck. And then I started thinking about Section 8 and how when they told a lot of women, we'll give you Section 8 and we'll give you these benefits, but the man can't live in the home. That was the beginning of family separation right here. What about, and I, I, and I know I, I, I hate to make this a racial thing, but what about all of the black families that have been separated, right, in America? All of the men and women that are in prison right now and not home with their children, not raising their children. As of today, America is a fatherless nation. And I'm sitting back and I'm watching everybody get excited about Joe Biden running for president and not even understanding this is the man that wrote the law that Bernie Sanders signed, that Bill Clinton pushed through, that is responsible for mass incarceration. Right. This is the very thing that we are fighting now. Black America, wake up.